Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. When you hear histo, think historian, because we're drawing a scene about a historian exploring a cave. He's basically Indiana Jones's super nerdy stepbrother. Ooh, and histo is actually prevalent in Indiana for Indiana Jones. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll get into that in a little bit. That was just a little stream of consciousness mnemonicizing there for you. Anyway, on exams, histoplasma will almost always be associated with bird or bat droppings. However, examiners may not be that nice, and instead of telling you that someone was around bat droppings, they'll more likely mention someone who has been recently inside of a cave, like a spelunker, or someone who's had exposure to chicken coops, like a farmer. So our scene is going to take place in a cave filled with bats. Again, with all of our systemic fungi, it's very important to learn its geographical distribution because they'll all cause very similar symptomatology. For example, histoplasma is endemic to the Midwestern and Central United States along the Mississippi and Ohio River valleys. And what do you know? This is exactly what is on the map that the historian is looking at. On practice tests, if they mention a state or a specific region of a country, just get in the habit of saying to yourself, okay, the test writer is telling me to consider fungal infection. If you do this and can focus on buzzwords such as caves or farms, you'll be just fine. Now you'll notice the historian is coughing. Well, this is because transmission of histoplasma and the rest of our systemic fungi is through the respiratory system. Usually spores in bird and bat droppings are inhaled and those go to the lungs. Then they get ingested by macrophages. And this is one way to diagnose histoplasma, seeing a macrophage filled with small intracellular oval bodies. So we're gonna draw a recurring symbol for macrophage, the macrophage cage. And inside the cage, we're gonna draw a canary. You know the story of how miners would take canaries down the mines with them and use them to see if the air is safe to breathe. If the canary dies, then it's time to turn back. Well, we're in a cave filled with histoplasma and the historian has brought his canary along. So this is one way to diagnose histoplasma by seeing the macrophage from a tissue sample or a respiratory specimen and staining it with a KOH prep. Diagnosis of any fungi can also be done through a culture. However, this often takes a lot of time, so it's rather inconvenient. A better way is through a rapid histoplasma urine or serum antigen test. To represent both of these concepts, we're gonna have two stalactites from the ceiling of the cave dripping down. One is red, which is meant to be serum, and the other is yellow, which is meant to be urine. 